Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Power Milk here, and welcome to uh, whatever this is. I don't know what I'm doing here. I, it's late at night, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just kind of did this out of blue because I can't sleep. It's like, um, hold up, 2 in the morning, and I just couldn't sleep. So I, um, I was looking at creepypastas, and I thought about, um, I thought about my past life, and I thought about some things that happened to me, and some spooky stories I've heard, and I thought, decided to start, um, maybe, uh, trying something new. Uh, tell some stories of my personal experiences, or people's experiences, or tell stories that already exist. And I, I figured I might also try, try to come up, I don't know if this will be, like, an ongoing thing, or... I have no idea what's going on with my camera right now. Ah, okay. Well, the point of the matter is, I think I should start, you know, telling stories, creepypastas, stuff like that. I think uh, a good point of the matter is, I, sh I could start with a few stories, I guess. Um, one story personally happened when I was staying in a motel. And this um, is one memory, something I can never forget, because it legitimately happened to me and no one else ever happened. None of this ever happened. What happened? Um, everyone was, it was late at night. Everyone was asleep. I was by, uh, I was the only one awake. I could never sleep at night right, when I was a kid. Uh, it was just a major problem. And I was, I always had trouble staying awake in class. This was before, I knew this only happened before high school. So, and I was in middle school. Uh, I think I was 13, 14. I don't know. And I was laying there. And, you know, I was trying to figure out, why can I sleep? It felt real cold, you know, and that, I, that felt really odd. Like, why is it so cold? We have the heater on. I was just so confused. I felt, then I felt a sense of unease, and I, it was, like, so weird. My brother, you know, was slept, slept next to me, but he was passed out asleep, and he never gets misses a chance to sleep. That's that's him. He loves napping. And um what happened is I was up. My brother was facing the other direction and I turned toward him. I looked at him. Now understand there was nobody else in the room but my little brother. And I looked at him the whole time I was just sitting there and I hear this faint whisper right in my ear. Like it was someone right there. And I would have heard someone walk in the room. That room was dead quiet. And I hear these words, move over. It was like, move over. S sorry, I had to get close to my mic, because my mic's strapped to my second monitor. And it was really freaking me out. I was just sitting there, and I didn't know what to do. I froze. I just sat there like, there. I went there for a few seconds, and I turned around. Nobody there. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh. And I, I, though I was a kid, I didn't really say that because I didn't cuss as a kid as much as that that time. There were times as a kid I did swear a lot, but I didn't swear at that time. So, but um, I, I was like, holy fuck, what's going on? And and I just look around the house. My parents are passed out asleep. My um, I just didn't get what the heck was going on. Uh, the TV wasn't on. Um. The, let's see, what else? I, I even checked the vents or anything, just in case. I don't know what, um, but there was no one in the house but me and my and my parents and my little brother. And I just couldn't fathom what it was. And it was still cold the whole night. And the next morning, I um, tried explaining this to my, to J my little brother, but he didn't really care. He was too young. And I explained it to my mom, my real mom, by the way, which you will never, probably never hear stories about that, maybe. And unless you've gone back in my videos and probably watched it, I draw my life. Um, but I explained it to her. She, she believes in ghosts. My dad doesn't believe in ghosts, so I never tell him stories like these because he doesn't believe them. And I, and I just can never get over this story, or actually this event in my life. Although there were times, after this event, though, I was fascinated with ghosts. I, it brought me on to ghost hunting, which was something I actually experienced, and I end up 
recording, uh, started making EMPs, the, uh, uh, not the, uh, electromagnetic pulse, but, um, uh, electronic, no, no, e, yeah, I don't know what the word is, but it's where you can record a ghost voice, and, ah, uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm just, it's kind of nervous for me because these stories weren't exactly pleasant for me, and I just always felt terrified during these whole things. Um, I remember one time, me and my sister and my real mom were just out in a... Um, we lived in this place called Dayton Lake Estates, which, by the way, guys, is the most haunted place I've ever been. And what happened was, we we do we know that the uh, river that we lived by had 15 known drownings in that year. And usually around 15 happen every year. And parent, and my sister wanted to do it too because her grandmother had also passed away there. And so we went there, you know, made recordings. We, um, we also asked frequency questions. And we asked different things like, did you know so-and-so? Like, so-and-so or and stuff like that. And we would actually listen to these recordings. And these recordings were pretty... Um, Deep, I guess. You, well, not deep, but we would ask questions, and we, you can hear faint whispers of answers. And it was freaky to me. Like, holy shit, is this freaking real? We recorded it, too. We made notes. I had took notes on this stuff. I had a special handbag full of equipment and notes I had, had used. And one of the... And it was so odd to find answers to these, like... Oh, sorry, I'm very tired, but I can't sleep. I don't know why. And when we asked, asked if they knew my sister's grandmother, my sister has a different grandmother because she's a half-sister to me. And I I faintly heard the word, yes. And I'm like, what? I don't can't remember how my sister reacted to it, but I do remember this faintly. I remember every ghost interaction I've ever had. And another night, while I was uh, in Dayton Lake Estates, we all entered a house, which I have actually looked up about this house. This is a legit thing. You can probably find it online. That there was a three-story house in the Lake States. And if you go there, it's usually on stilts because of flooding, which, with the script, the exact description I'm giving you, is from the site I found it on. And it was actually located behind a church, which was abandoned as well. In that house, what ha happened was a triple murder-suicide, and which happened where man had caught his wife, had found out his wife was cheating on him, and killed, killed his wife, his two kids, and himself. And I was very intrigued about this. And personally, I have never actually seen the ghost myself. But we have taken photos where we've seen body parts that weren't there before, or when we took the photos. We did it all in candlelight because that's all we had, and we also had like our phone lights and whatever. But the phones were draining really fast, and I didn't understand why that was happening. And we, you know, we took photos with our phones as well, and that's all we had. We, we couldn't afford stuff like cameras, excuse me, or recordings. We also recorded on our phones, by the way. We looked, and my sister was standing, was the one sitting on the stairs. She looked up, and she swore she saw a man. And I'm like, what? And I looked up, and I'm like, huh? I looked up there, but there's no one there. She, she saw it though, and he ran away. And, um, we, be I believe when I was there, that, uh, there was something evil there. It was very, and I couldn't believe what was, um, I think I'm not, uh, there was some other stuff that happened to me, but I don't want to mention them because they're not exactly memories I want to go back to because they were very, very terrible memories. And I hope you guys, like, don't mind me ranting about this, but this is something I wanted to get off my chest and I just needed to tell you guys, this is something that legit happens to me. This stuff legitimately happens to me. And in I figured I would start off my first creepy video. I think I might just call these things powder milks, spooky stories, or whatever. And that might not be scary to you, but they were scary to me at the time. And I still have like sometimes sometimes I'd find nightmares of these stories. It was very, very weird. Oh, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my spooky rant. Um I guess. Um Anyway, guys, I, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later, and stay spooky, my friends.